You may have noticed while traveling abroad that your boarding pass or luggage tag has a three letter code. That code is an IATA airport code used to identify airports and you might have even used them while booking flights. The wide majority of these airport codes are derived from the name of the city which the airport serves, such as ATL representing Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport, SIN representing Singapore Changi Airport, or SYD representing Sydney Airport. The list is virtually endless. Even if the airport codes don't match the city, it generally at least matches the name of the airport, usually in cities with more than one major airport like New York, where JFK stands for John F. Kennedy and LGA stands for LaGuardia. Logically, the airport code for Toronto Pearson should be TOR, or maybe even TRO for Toronto. Or maybe because Toronto has a second major airport, Billy Bishop, it could always just use PER or PRS for Pearson. In reality, Pearson's airport code is YYZ, where not a single letter of the code appears in Toronto Pearson. Thankfully, some Canadian airports make some kind of logical sense, like YVR servicing Vancouver or YWG servicing Winnipeg. However, as we look across the country, almost all airports and all major Canadian airports have codes starting with Y. This is not a set rule by IATA, the association who assigns the three-letter airport codes, that Canadian airports can only start with Y, as actually a handful of Canadian airports do have codes that don't start with Y such as the following. Interestingly, there are a considerable amount of airport codes which start with X and Z, which like Y are quite unusual characters. However, keep in mind that this is only a small fraction of Canadian airports, and most of these airports are privately owned and not open to commercial flight. As a matter of fact, if you were to travel to any Canadian airport, chances are it starts with a Y, because basically every single Canadian airport with commercial flight starts with it. So the big question, why the Y? To understand why all major Canadian airports start with Y, we must understand the origins of the airport code. Ignoring the Y in many Canadian airports, as seen before, most airport codes seem to make complete sense, as OW stands for Ottawa in YOW, and QB stands for Quebec City in YQB. However, many airports completely make no sense, most notably YYZ for Toronto Pearson and YUL for Montreal Pierre Trudeau as well as these other Canadian airports. This is because the last three characters in Canadian airport codes are from old railway station codes for the Canadian National Rail, which were later adopted to be used as weather station and radio beacon codes. Although it'd make more sense for Toronto Pearson to have to code something like YTO or YTR, or for Montreal to have to code something like YMO or YMT, the rail code for Melton, where Toronto Pearson is located, is YZ, while the radio beacon code for Kirkland, the location of Montreal Trudeau, was UL, becoming YUL. But how did these two letter codes get the letter Y in front of it? In the 1930s, airports started to use the same two letter weather station or radio codes and added a letter in front of it where the Y, which signified Y for yes, indicated yes, a weather station was located within the airport, while the letter W for without signified that it was without a weather station. X was used if the code was already taken by another Canadian airport, and Z was used if it was taken by a US identifier. The letter U was used if the weather station was located with a non-directional beacon, a type of radio transmitter. This explains why, even if airports have codes that don't start with Y, they usually start with U, W, X, or Z compared to letters A to T. Since weather stations seem like a good idea to forecast flying conditions, all major Canadian airports have them and therefore have airport codes that start with Y. Luckily, since there were very few places that needed airport codes which started with Y, the airport codes were easily assigned by IATA as there were no conflicting codes. Even today, some radio beacons still use the original railway station codes, such as beacons in Montreal, Winnipeg, Quebec City, Calgary, Regina, and Saskatoon. Radio transmitters located in Toronto, Vancouver, Halifax, and Edmonton added Z in front of them to differentiate them from the airport code. You can view a copy of the radio beacon codes in a link in the description. Thanks to these unique codes and unusual combination of letters, 
They're often used to refer to the airport, or sometimes even just the city in general. They give Canadian airports a unique identity, which helped inspire the name of the Rush song, YYZ. So to answer the question, why do Canadian airports start to Y? Yes, 